Uh, dear friends, Honorable Chief Justice of India, uh, Honorable Justice uh, DYC, gave a lecture to the NL NLSIU Bangalore students in their 32nd conference. Naturally, the students, uh, that is the budding lawyers, who completed the, the thing and it's a convocation. Now, the Lordship spoke on how to succeed in this uh, most difficult testing profession. It's a short lecture, but the entire experience of Lordships was uh, tried to present it in the shortest form because the time, positive of the time. Lordship said that uh, emphasize the importance of patience. One, two, is the self-belief. As anchors for you to sustain, survive and progress in this testing legal profession. As you all know, dear uh, Ang lawyers, Honorable Chief Justice is going to retire in November. During this uh, eventful tenure as the Chief Justice of India and earlier as the Judge of Supreme Court and a very highly educated foreign returned lawyer, but always willing to share his experiences, the simplicity and uh, he set standards which are very difficult for people to follow, but everyone must imbibe. We are so frank, always smiling. Of course, this lecture, I, have, I, am prepared, I prepared five lectures to analyze the entire judgments. I've been watching the dispensation of justice in the court and also outside various forums, the way he speaks, the way he respects humanity. And uh, one of the greatest achievements, he'll be considered as the father of uh, uh, modern, harness the technology, the video conferencing facilities, use it and brought it to the doorsteps of the common man, access to justice. Mm. What a technology, the technology relentlessly pursued to make it happen. Though it's still there, are a lot of troubles are there. But in the days to come, Lordship's contribution will be remembered forever. Uh, I remember my mother used to always uh, in, the, in the evening uh, pray um, at five o'clock. Nobody used to be there, no God and all. Then we asked why you are praying means. Uh, this is for Thomas Alva Edison, who invented the light, uh, electricity, uh, that is that light. For the simple reason, nobody remembers him. The great people who contribute many a times are just forgotten. But then we are not uh, lordships or anybody is serving the humanity. Doesn't expect that people will remember. So first my lecture. I am a teacher, friends. I am a chartered accountant. Uh, and uh, I have trained, uh, you know, uh, thousands of chartered accountant students. I used to teach the most difficult subject, costing and finance. And I developed very simple, simple tools and techniques so that nobody will forget. Even today, most of my students are uh, directors, uh, top multinational companies. When they meet me, they will tell, uh, we still remember what you taught us. So I'm now going to uh, convert it into my own experiences. And one case study I will take. And then I will try to explain you the importance of patience, self-belief, and critical appraisal. Because as a, uh, as a lawyer, you are writing exam every day. Not one exam, because you argue the case, prepare so well, and finally, judgment is reserved. It may be delivered in your favor or not. And uh, if it is not in your favor, you get disappointed for a few days. But it is not a failure. The judgment is not in your favor. And even you win this in the first stage, next stage is the appeal, he will go. 
Therefore, how to prepare well? That concept of Sthita Pragna is what Lord Shiv beautifully explained. Very short lecture. And first I will read out the Lord Shiv's lecture. And then I would like to uh, link uh, to an example. Only one concept. And uh, how to deal with the judge. And uh, in a given situation when you know you are going to lose. Uh, that I will give a case study. But then... The Lordship has uh, summarized the whole thing beautifully. So let us go further in this. And uh, the Lordships have said, um, Honorable Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrachur, today while addressing the 32nd Annual conv Convocation of NLSIU, Bangalore, highlighted the importance of patience and self-belief that act as an anchor for the testing legal profession. Legal profession is extremely difficult, friends. We'll talk about it. And uh, no matter how much is the forced sense of urgency, you must approach life with patience. Even in general, patience will solve all the problems. And uh, now, this is a fast moving era where everything seems to be a do or die situation. And these early days of your legal career will be demanding. You may feel inadequate, insecure, and isolated at times. Very true, very true. Very, very true. And uh, I will explain you. Uh, when uh, the opponent is, uh, even you go very well prepared, and uh, you get into a situation where you never anticipated it. How to deal such situations? I have prepared some case studies, live case studies. And you tend to in, get insecure because you see the lobes of uh, opportunities are spread over very few people. And uh, you being the youngster uh, will not be considered. And uh, uh, so you may get disappointed, but doesn't matter. Give your best. Give your best. Keep trying. And everybody passed through this. That's what Lord Shiv was telling Many, uh, many of us experience this burnout. But remember, you are not alone in this journey. What a beautiful, such a great experience. Lordship has just put it in a short span, just like that. Which I'll show you through my case studies. Uh, I'm taking one at a time. Uh, then that point, we try to bring in the case study that we have faced. And you number, I might have appeared thousand times uh, various forms. So I am uh, preparing for the sake of students and uh, sharing that experience to build a great uh, lawyers. There is, but remember to deal with obstacles you face. You must build a strong support network. Spend time with your family and friends. So here he just uh, went out of it because uh, one is profession. How to survive in the profession that uh, he tried to space it there, Lord Shapes. But now, he then this, uh, you know, in the pursuit of uh, excellence and reaching great heights, don't forget your family. Build uh, that also are very, very important. And uh, everything, friends, family, and uh, leading doesn't mean you're alone. Though you, it may feel so sometimes. What a real experience is shared it's not just borrowed from any other place. Speaking from his personal experience, the CJI explained that when he is facing with vortex of conflict, this is, uh, you know, there are five, the Harvard return, there will be five levels of uh, conflicts one person will go through. Uh, this is Harvard Business Review article where Thomas uh, Kilman, conflict model, Highlights five conflict resolution strategies, dear friends. One is, when you get into some trouble, first step is you just avoid reacting to it. Now, if it is not that important, why do you unnecessarily react? Second is compete. If you feel they are relevant, you compete, you compete counter. And uh, suppose you feel that it's not worth it and uh, after that, accommodate. Try to compromise and collaborate. Because... The synergy is always the most important aspect of growth. We, God, we may think we are great in everything, but God would have given us certain 
smart in 10 uh, capabilities that you have you might be good in 10 but very good in 2 so you identify that 2 and collaborate with another person having another 2 uh, smart so a team is built and that's what uh, lordship said but generally he ran through that this is what we teach in management he relies on self reflection and inner voice it's very very important friends uh, we will talk about it because many a times when we would talk to a friend, they will say, oh, this bench, uh, you will not get orders. It's possible. You have to take the experience because that judge may on the bench may be uh, inclined in a different thing. Then why do you appear before them? But you have to feel it. And in many difficult situations, the inner voice, Mahatma Gandhi used to have Antarvani. Understand the father of our nation uh, who brought us the independence uh, is uh, driven by uh, Antarvani. Suddenly he used to react. And that is the, it is uh, triggering that uh, Antarvani within us. And that is God. Divinity is there in our heart. There are two parts, as you know, in Tamil they say, Manam yendan kovil tirakindra neram anaikamal ange daivam mandasir. So you try to trigger that and that can be triggered by a principled uh, approach. Values of liberty, dignity, autonomy and uh, satya, dharma, nyaya. Our dharma shastras are there which will guide you. Once you are strong, you need not worry. Whatever difficulties you face, it will turn out to be uh, experiences if not steps for your great success. This is what Lord Shiv beautifully explained. Um, I was asked how to, how do you feel with this vortex of conflict that comes to you in the SC? And I said that once you have heard different viewpoints, then you retreat into yourself and that's when you shut out cacophony of voices. It's real, you know, he's trying to share his thoughts. I had happened to uh, listen to uh, Honorable Justice Abai Voka, Justice, and that Lordship, if you ask in Supreme Court, any lawyer, I mean, just I'm amazing. Everybody says, oh, Abai Voka, he is the, he is the star and god of justice, they'll say. Unanimous. I try to see any one person is disappointed, but uh, Lordship gave one lecture. How a judge uh, analyzes the case, reads the case, you please read that. Uh, that's not the topic today, but I learned a lot. How SLP has to be prepared to get it admitted. How a, a statutory appeal has to be filed, how to get it admitted. Frankly, is, and his dispensation of justice is a real learning power, which we have recorded heavily. And we are trying to analyze and publish it as a case studies to all over, all the students all over India. That's my task. I'm more like a teacher to train then you please see, then you appeal to something within which is guided by the eternal values which are intended to expose liberty, dignity and autonomy of the individual. Fantastic. This uh, highly learned uh, persons can understand. In our uh, Vedas is what is called as Sruti and Smriti. In Smriti, Lord, uh, the, the saints used to get some triggers and uh, they will try to tell something. And uh, based on that trigger, uh, the, they will talk something. And the people, the, uh, the disciples will spread it. That is how religion, uh, the beliefs, uh, you can contact yourself with the God. And uh, Atma is to join with Paramatma. That is the purpose of life, which uh, I think Lordship uh, Beautifully explained. This is every student will have to listen, uh, read, and keep it as a Bible. He, I was asked, how do you deal with this vortex of conflict that comes to you in the Supreme Court? And I said that once you have heard different views, then you retreat into yourself. And that's when you shut out the cacophony of voices. If you see, uh, many of uh, the... Uh, the Lordship's judgments 
uh, excellent. Uh, but then it gives many people to react to differently. Uh, everybody appreciates. Lord Shri is appreciated for his knowledge, boldness. But uh, actually, you know, when you are delivering a judgment, you can't satisfy everybody. First, you have to satisfy yourself. And uh, that is the most important uh, issue. And that is what he is talking about. Whenever you do anything, forget about the uh, failures or success that you are going to get. Actually, there is nothing called failure. And the definition of success itself, uh, Jiddu Krishnamurti uh, explained that success, it's, uh, success is nothing but analyzing the failure in a critical manner. That is called success. So if you give up, the, the company is running and the company has incurred 100 crores. Now, whether it is loss, it is not loss. It is an asset if you are going to continue the business. If you close that, it is loss. Similarly, if you decide you can't win and that's the end. That is why you should never give up. That's what he, Lord Shri spoke. And uh, you can build uh, so much and uh, a Lordship here, it is experienced, beautifully explained. Everybody must read. I will give you examples of case studies into relating to this. CJ encouraged the young graduate to trust their inner instincts and personal values when faced with unique challenges, just as the North Star guides the uncharted waters. Fantastic, fantastic. I can tell you from personal experience that in the uncharted waters, your North Star is your inner voice and your in individuality. Do not underestimate the power of your inner voice and perspective. Actually, we get influenced by somebody is talking, but you know what is right. It's all just rational thinking. Always I've seen many top businessmen, they are very one plus one is two. That is the concept with which they'll go and prepare the strategies. Not blindly thinking you will win or you will lose. That's not the correct thing. And uh, that is the, this is what the Lordships have said. And uh, now, dear friends, um, I would like to uh, share this uh, uh, experience, uh, one experience based on what Lordship said. Never give up. Never give up. I started. Uh, uh, appearing. I'm a chartered accountant practicing. Of course, the law studied uh, masters in law. Um, but then uh, as a teacher, mainly I used to be in teaching and uh, the case I'm telling you, first I was appearing in a case. And this case is, uh, I studied a lot, you study everything and uh, being a teacher, you have studied much more. But the issue is uh, what exactly you studied cannot be applied. That comes by experience. And uh, even you see, you don't get that experience. You listen, you will not get the experience. When you face it, you can realize. You see, when you want to know a feeling of burning, unless you touch it, you will not know. And uh, that is how this particular point is going to be discussed. Simply, I will not take much. This is a case, a mandamus. And... Uh, Asking Institute of Chartered Accountants of India Regional Council to conduct an annual general meeting by incorporating the suggestions of members. That's all. First point, what is that right for you to ask? So I'm a member of the institute and as per Regulation 150, every member is entitled to file a, a resolution. A procedure is there. How resolution file? And uh, that resolution has to be circulated and deliberated in the annual general meeting. That is the devil law. All self-regulated bodies where the members decide is there. And these people are not doing it. No problems of members was ever discussed. And everybody is afraid, you know, these uh, self-regulated bodies... Uh, Bar Council or ICA or say, they'll immediately file a discipline case and that's the end of yourself. So nobody is interested, professionals don't bother about this. And the lawyer, your profession work is there, then what legal work you do? 
So when I filed, the notice was issued. They refused to incorporate my regulations, uh, my resolutions. Then what happened? Immediately, uh, the once the notice was issued to the CA Institute, they conducted the AGM, and then uh, they did not take any resolutions or anything, and they passed the um, finished it. That's all. Uh, uploaded uh, financial statements. This that this. So all that came for hearing. And the CA Institute will have a top lawyer. And uh, that lawyer is a tough man. And he came. So I am a party in person, <laughs> knowing nothing. Then I was, I'm the petitioner. I was about to say something. The senior counsel pounced on me and said, what this fellow is talking? They, he want, what is his man must to be? He wants the AGM to be conducted. We have conducted. What is he talking about? Then I said, uh, I wanted to tell Lordship, uh, my problem is not conducting. The resolutions have to be deliberated. They have refused to do it, my Lord Sina. Hey, wait, the judge got irritated. The judge getting irritated, you don't care. This is a normal thing. You know, what is there? He doesn't know us. Why should he get angry? They might have thought his fellow doesn't know anything and dismissed it. Thereafter, Lordship uh, passed a judgment. Fully mistakes were there. So, if Lord Shitz had, uh, that bench had heard me, then they would have passed perfect order dismissing it. But uh, I realized, uh, because I did not speak, uh, the judgment became wrong. So, immediately I appealed, writ appeal I filed before the Chief Justice bench. So, here two things, don't give up. So, one level is there, what is the issue? You thought some is the issue, judges decided something else. Then, uh, so the narrows down. Three points are there. It will become one point. I can. And that time, Chief Justice uh, was very tough. Dismiss, dismiss, dismiss. And uh, already two education petitions were there. And their lordship uh, dismissed that. Now I'm going to their third one. I thought uh, this legal profession is not our cup of tea. I'll tell you why. But I'm not giving up. Then when I went there, uh, the Honorable Justice Sivagnanam was the young judge sitting. And uh, before I could say something, uh, the judge said, you want mandamus for all this? Like, you know, I didn't know what he is asking me, but I kept quiet. Then immediately Sivagnanam, sir, uh, spoke about me to him, Lord Chief, Chief Justice. And uh, what the, uh, he kept quiet, Chief Justice, uh, Justice Sivagnanam, now the Chief Justice of Kalkara High Court. He passed the order saying, now that uh, the uh, order is passed, this, this is conducted, but in future, they must comply with Regulation 150 and conduct. Like that, they passed the order. So I achieved what I want. I lost the writ petition, but I achieved what I want. And uh, then I was thinking, uh, oh, I don't know the judges, I'm just sitting, don't know how to talk also. But I realized... Later, I came to know over two, three petitions and all. One of uh, uh, my students asked me, Sir, today you went and argued. Uh, yes, how do you know? Sir, is my uncle only. <laughs> that, uh, that boy was telling my student. And uh, so, somehow, but you never give up. You achieved the object. You want a writ, up, a writ to be passed in your favor. That's okay. But even otherwise, then I learned, uh, so before going to the judge, what all the questions there? What is my case? What's my case? I wanted a mandamus, already conducted. If really I knew it, I would not have gone. You understand? So we will take up one by one, one by one. Once you realize you are in trouble, how to face it? And that is where you will come. But never leave. You have to be honest. You have to be, your cause should be perfect and you should be service oriented. Always. The approach to the court is it should be beneficial to the society. That is very important. So, dear friends, uh, uh, this lecture is over. But I am coming out with many lectures based on the Honorable Supreme Court Chief Justice. He has done an immense service. And many people keep talking this and that and all. They are uh, angel gods. You know, and uh, they are protecting the democracy, the freedom, and uh, the guardian angels are fundamental rights, dear friends. And uh, their knowledge can be shared 
actually uh, after the 65 years the they have experienced so much and they have to they should not give up and uh, uh, this what uh, even uh, uh, one of our classmate retired mr ram subramanian he didn't take up but the amount of knowledge goes waste that's what uh, my simple thinking thank you dear friends